Hi everyone, so I'm back with a video. I haven't made a video in a good while because I chopped all my hair off and then um, it's grown back to what it is right now and I've just decided to leave it curly which is why I chopped it off because I've been straightening it like since I was really young so I wanted to start over with a fresh start and with curls so um, I did this about the end towards the end of last year in December of 2015 so this is my first video in a good couple of months but anyway I just kind of wanted to introduce this video so for this particular video I'm actually doing a video on acne so it's gonna be really educational and I actually experimented and I've gotten better at making videos so this is going to be um, talking about kind of what causes acne as well as some options to reduce it and to get rid of your acne so with that said um, let's just get right into the video so let's start with some of the things that may or can cause acne. Some of the things that can cause acne include stress, diet, exercise, genetics, location, so the places that you go to, as well as daily habits and whether or not you have pets. Stress. So stress can actually cause acne and increase like how often you have breakouts because it weakens your immune system so that you're not able to fight bacterial infections very well. And what acne is, is it generally is a bacterial infection, though it is sometimes also genetic. So you can actually try to reduce acne by reducing your stress level, which will boost your immune system and make your body stronger and more able to fight against bacterial infections. Diet. So diet is so important because what we eat tends to affect our bodies. It can make us sick. It can cause us to have acne. If you eat well, it can also make you very healthy. And that shows on your body. Everything that you take into your body comes out in your appearance. So diet is so important. So here's some information that shows you some of the things that have been linked to causing acne. And some of those things to avoid include like milk, dairy. One of the things with dairy is you need to consider non-organic food versus organic foods. When you eat healthier foods and foods that are more natural or organic, they tend to be free of like pesticides and there's less, you know, you don't have to worry about the chemicals and a lot of bad cancer causing things that may be inside of the foods. So that's really something to look at. Transitioning from organic to non-organic can make a huge difference in your skin. But some foods to avoid include things like bread as well as milk, sugars, foods that are really high in processed ingredients such as high glycemic foods. Avoid junk food and try to avoid fast food because all the grease is really not good for you. So eating healthier things like fruits and vegetables can really make a difference in your acne. Exercise. So exercise is really, really important because when we exercise, our body produces oxygen which actually kills germs and bacteria. In addition, when we sweat, the toxins in our body are forced out of our body through our sweat. So it's a way of releasing germs and bacteria that will cause acne. At the same time, when you exercise, it's really, really important to clean your skin really well because you don't want to leave the bacteria on your skin because then that can cause acne. Genetics. So genetics plays a really big part when it comes to acne because with genetics, it defines your immune system. So if your family has, for instance, a weaker immune system, that's going to be passed on. In addition, certain diseases can be passed on that can cause acne. If you have severe acne, I would always consider consulting a physician and getting a blood test to see if there may be some type of disease or something else that's causing the acne, just to make sure that you rule that out. But for minor acne, it might 
might likely be the genetic aspect. There's also the racial aspect as well because certain groups actually are more pigmented because they have more melanin and then those groups that have more melanin in their skin will tend to scar much more easily and the scars will be much darker. So genetics definitely is a big factor when it comes to acne. Location. When I say location, I mean certain places. So certain places have more dirty environments, so like the water might not be clean or the air might be heavily polluted. All of those things really influence acne. Heavy pollution is a major problem and it can really cause you to have a lot of breakouts. For instance, when you're traveling, you might find that you tend to break out a lot more while traveling because you're going to other countries who have a different environment than what you're used to. So make sure that you're very careful about hygiene, especially when traveling or when going to certain places or countries that you know are heavily polluted, where they don't have safe water, where there's heavy sand in the air, those kinds of things. Daily habits. So this is really important too because this is what you do on a daily basis. So some daily habits that can really increase acne are things like not cleaning your makeup brushes, sharing your makeup, not checking expiration dates on your products, touching your face a lot, putting your cell phone up to your face. These are all things that are basically you're transferring germs from another source to your skin and that can really cause some acne problems. Pets. So pets are really important when it comes to acne prevention because when our pets are sick or when they're having problems, we tend to share those same problems with them. When I say that, I mean there's something called zoonotic diseases where certain diseases are passed from pets to humans and vice versa. It's kind of like how fleas and ticks will bite both humans and animals. So you can do some things to prevent acne by being aware of things like bites, marks, or infections on your pet, getting your pet dewormed, getting them checked at the vet periodically, cleaning them, making sure that they're groomed and treating them for parasites and things like that can really help you because your pet's health is really important and it affects your health. So treating your pet as if you were treating your own health will really help you when it comes to acne prevention methods. Lastly, and most importantly, we cannot forget about parasites. Parasites are one of the main killers of human beings and they cause so many different afflictions for us, from diseases to weight problems to skin and acne problems. And basically what parasites are, they're microorganisms, they're basically like bugs that live in contaminated water, food, you can find them on surfaces, they're at places like parks, they're on pets, they're on animals, they're also in things like sand, they can basically exist in just about any environment. Basically, they can burrow into the skin and where they burrow, they create a nest and that can create the appearance of acne and infections on the skin. And they have been linked to things like eczema and many other skin problems. So getting rid of acne means having a lifestyle that focuses on killing germs and bacteria and parasites and being very hygienic and tending to your body as well as detoxing it on a regular basis.